For this lab, the, all the trial batches have already been predetermined and way ahead of schedule, just to make sure things go smoothly throughout the rest of the lab. When first starting, you want to make sure that the concrete mixer is wetted down so that nothing sticks to the sides. Then you add the coarse aggregate with a bit of water. You want to make sure that you add all the admixtures with the balance of your water. Make sure that it gets distributed evenly throughout your concrete mix. After you finish adding all your fine aggregates, you want to make sure that you add the rest of the balance of your water. This is to ensure that you get proper mixing for the rest of your cement and cementing materials and make sure that nothing gets stuck to the sides as it mixes properly. For this mix design, we were actually using fiber reinforced material as part of the concrete mix, which was added now. After all the materials have been added, you want to make sure you mix thoroughly for three minutes non-stop. After three minutes and the, and the cement mixture has stopped, you want to scrape off the inside to make sure that you don't have any clumps of unmixed material. After letting it sit for two minutes, mix again for another three. Once you're done mixing, dump all your mixture into your wheelbarrow for testing. Be sure to scrape out the inside of the barrel. If you don't, you won't have enough to finish all of your tests. First test that we'll be doing will be the slump test. This is mainly important to figure out the workability of your concrete mix. First, make sure that the clamps are placed on the bottom of your cone and make sure that you're on a level surface. Then, start adding concrete. You want to fill it up the bottom third and then take the large tamping rod and tamp 25 times. You want to complete the same procedure for the middle lift, again adding a third and tapping 25 times with the tapping rod. You want to make sure that you only penetrate 25 millimeters into the layer below. For the final lift, make sure that you fill it a little bit above and you can again tap 25 times. When completed, take the rod and screed off the top layer. Pulling up gradually in a constant motion. Remove the cone. Use the cone and tamping rod as a level to determine the average lump value. Make sure you record this value as you'll need it later. The air content test measures the entrapped and entrained air in the fresh concrete mix. The air content plays an important role in the workability of fresh mixed concrete as well as the strength and durability of the hardened concrete. For the air content test, again, you want to add the measure a third full with your concrete mix and, just like the slump test, use a large tamping rod and tamp 25 times in succession. Complete this for each lift. When you get to the top, you want to make sure that you overfill. Each time, you want to make sure that you're only penetrating one inch into the layer below. When you finish rotting the specimen, you want to take your rubber mallet and knock the side of the canister 10 to 15 times. This should actually be completed for each lift. When this is complete, take your tamping rod and screed off the top.
you want this to be as smooth as possible so that you get a good seal with the gasket on the air meter. Once this is complete, take a rag or cloth and wipe down the outside edge, again to ensure a good seal. When this has been completed, place the air meter gauge on top and lock in place. You want to make sure that you have a nice tight seal or else it won't work and you'll just be like WTF. Once the top of the air meter is installed, using the rubber syringe, inject water through one peacock until air is forced out the opposite peacock. Make sure you leave them both open. Once this is complete, use the pump to pump the air pressure on the gauge to the initial pressure. Wait a few seconds for it to equalize and then pump a few more times to make sure it's in the right location. Close both petcocks and press down on the thumb lever to release the air into the bowl. Hold down the lever for a few seconds and lightly tap the gauge with your finger to stabilize the gauge reading. The number that you see will be your air content for the concrete mix. The making and curing of standardized test specimens is very crucial for determining the strength for mixed proportioning, quality control, and quality assurance. With small concrete cylinders, you want to use a small tamping rod, and this time only tamping 20 times per lift. Again, you want to be doing one-third lifts and using the rubber mallet on each lift approximately 15 times. To consolidate. You want to do this all the way up to the top again, overfill, and then after your 20 tamps, you want to screed off the top. Ideally, you want to use a trowel to smooth over the top so you have a nice smooth finish for testing later. Once this is complete, put it to the side of the lab tech to place in the curing room. Before putting any of the concrete in any of the cylinders or beams, you want to make sure that they're greased up so that it is easy to remove the concrete from the cylinder samples. For the beams, take the concrete and fill to the top of the castings. Then, use an electric vibrator to consolidate. Make sure that you get in all the corners so that you don't have any voids. If you have a very coarse mix like the one that we were doing here, you have to make sure that you vibrate extra so that you can get some of the fine mix to the top, making it easier to finish. After vibrating is complete, use a trowel to smooth over the top of the surface. Once you're satisfied with the texture of the top surface, put the beam aside for the lab tech to place in the curing room.